Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And the big thing that we want to go over here today is ultimately the morning routine because it's something that so many people struggle with. It's like, when do I put a focus on this? When do I put focus on that? How do I, uh, I need to do my breath work, my meditation, my yoga, my cold shower, my uh, smoothie in the morning, my juice, my workout. It's like, oh my God, there's eight hours that I haven't even got anything done yet. And so I want us to come back to the key point, which is high performance. And what really works and is sustainable is making your biology work for you. And that's what we're doing here. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. I'm Justin, founder of Own It. And I'd love for you to subscribe. I'd love you to uh, like, comment below uh, so that ultimately you can get our videos that come out weekly. All the stuff you're going to be seeing here is focused on making sure that your experience is enhanced and ultimately giving you actionable items that you can take to go be very purposeful and intentional. So I want to go deep into this morning routine thing, because again, if you've listened to anything I've said, or you've seen, listened to any of the other videos, you can watch a lot of the stuff on HRB is we want to ultimately determine what your body needs. And when we know what your body needs, we are going to be able to apply it in a really key and succinct way. Because again, the definition of high performance is making sure that your biology is working for you. And when we look at this, we come to our morning routine. And there's a very simple pattern that we need to do here. We need to make sure that we get sun, we move, and we hydrate. These are the three things that in the morning are gonna optimize us. That's it, it's very, very simple. It doesn't need to be complex. The movement doesn't matter what it is. The sun exposure, get exposed to that red light. Use nature to optimize us and then ultimately hydrate. So often we see this pyramid and I'm just gonna section it off. There could be more sections, but society tells us we need to operate here. We need to get the red light um, uh, lanterns for our home so that we can get our red light. We need to get uh, infrared saunas. We need to take certain supplements. We need to uh, get dark out shades. We need to do all of these things that are literally up here at the top of the pyramid. But yet we forget what's at the base that has the most impact. And that if we're doing this really well and we filter this upwards and then we start implementing these into our life, we're getting like a 1 million X return. Okay, but if we're just doing this stuff at the top and we're forgetting all this stuff down here, it might just bring us back to neutral. Okay, just bring us back to where we should be in that homeostatic level. But ultimately, getting back to clarity and what we need to do, this should all happen in the first 10 minutes upon wake up. Now, what does this look like? We want to get sun exposure. Okay, so we want to see the sun. Okay, it can be the sunrise but it wants to be direct because we have on our skin and on our eyes, something called photoreceptors. Those photoreceptors take in light and reset our cortisol melatonin cycle. Be sure to watch this video right here that talks about cortisol melatonin cycle and how it impacts sleep and how it's ultimately what determines your circadian rhythm. Cortisol, when it's high, melatonin has to be low, no option. And over the course of the day, we see this happen so that Cortisol is high in the morning, melatonin is low in the morning, melatonin is high at night, cortisol is low at night. And this is why making sure that we're in this rhythmic state is key. Movement, figure out what works for you. It could be yoga, it could be a walk, it could be a HIIT workout, it could be a uh, weight training session, you name it, but some type of movement, okay? And then hydrating. We wanna get somewhere in the neighborhood of 16 ounces of mineralized water, okay, first thing in the morning. If we can hit these three things, it's gonna set us up for a really positive day and a ultimately a maximized energy level because we're gonna be having that peak, um, uh, peak level of cortisol in the morning as well. Now, how do we know that it's working? We come back to HRV. And that stands for heart rate variability. Again, watch this video right here walks you entirely through what HRV is, the complete guide to HRV. 
everything you need to know in five minutes, okay? Be sure to take a look at that. What this is, is it's understanding how our body's adapting to the stress or strain that's being placed under it. Now, if we do this in the morning and we see that our HRV is driving and we've, or is diving, it's going down. We've been doing hip workouts every morning. Um, we've been getting uh, direct sunlight through a window and we've been only getting eight ounces of water in. Well, it means that our body is not adapting well. So let's change it up. Maybe our yoga becomes the first thing we do. Maybe we go outside to get access to this. And then let's actually hit our 16 ounces. Once we saw our HRV start to increase, hey, we've started to find the formula, okay? Your formula for that morning routine, but they only need to include these three items. Now for myself, how do we plan this? How do we make sure we know what's going on? Every Sunday, we do what's called the weekly meeting. And this is crucial for making sure that your week is set up ideally. Because what we do is we section off Monday through Friday, that first block in the morning, that first wake up time. What time are we getting up? Okay, wake up time, it's constant. Why? Again, going back to circadian rhythm, consistency is key. So we're gonna wake up at 6 a.m. We know that by 6.10, we're doing our morning routine, okay? That is what we're doing, that is what we have planned. And then from 6.30 onwards, okay, 6.30 on, we have our action steps. What are we getting into? Is it that we are getting uh, work done? Is it we're writing emails? Is that we're uh, getting our family ready to go? but it's structured. And we know that every single morning we are getting into that morning routine that looks like one of these three entities, sunlight, movement, and hydration. Because remember, there's four things that we cannot live without. We can't live without food or nutrients, water, air, and sleep. These four entities are all optimized through this morning routine. It doesn't need to be complex. It doesn't need to be seven hours long. It doesn't need to be super uh, uh, changing all the time. What it needs to be is it needs to be for you. We need to make your biology work for you because that is the key to ultimate high performance and making sure that these things are really truly working for you. So like I said, sunlight, movement, hydration, this is the key way to make your morning routine work for you. We track through HRV, is it going upwards or downwards? And that is where we make the changes of these three areas. Start implementing this and see the change in your energy, see the change in your sustainability, and ultimately see the change in how you're feeling and performing long-term. Because again, as entrepreneurs and executives in our own spaces, we are reliant on ourselves. If we're not performing well, our businesses aren't performing well. Our families aren't performing well. We are the problem, but we're also the solution. If you're first time here, again, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, comment below so that we can interact with you and ultimately get you the action steps that you need to be more purposeful, more intentional, and ultimately create change for you. Because success is different, so be different and own it.